So the electric field is a quantity that only depends on a single charge being present. So we can have a single charge in space and nothing else around it, and we have some electric field, which is given by an expression that tells us it depends on that charge and some distance from it. So let's take a look at an example with that. So electric field by a point charge. Consider the proton of a hydrogen atom and an empty point in space, which is 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11th meters away. We're going to draw the direction of the electric field at that point of interest, and we're going to calculate the magnitude of the electric field corresponding to that. So we have example. Okay. So we have our proton in this case. So if it's a proton, we should know the charge of it, even though it's not directly stated, because the charge of a proton is the elementary or electron charge. Um, so we'll use that. Now we have that some distance away from it at some empty point in space. So there's nothing at this point here. Let's call that point P. There is some distance that we are away from that positive charge, R, out to that point of interest. So remember that R is always the distance from the charge to the point of interest that we want to discuss. So simply, if we want to calculate the electric field at that point, E equals K capital Q over R squared. That's our equation for the electric field of a point charge. We know that in this problem, the distance is given and we know the charge of a proton, so it's technically given, and we can just calculate that. So the electric field is the value of k, which is 8.99, 10 to the ninth, Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. The charge is the charge of a proton, which is positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. Even if it was a negative charge, we would still plug it in positive anyway because we're only calculating the magnitude, divided by the distance, which is 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11th meters. Don't forget the most common mistake, which is to square it. To calculate this out, so we do 5.29, 10 to the minus 11th, square it, it's in the bottom, multiply across, so we have times Coulomb's constant times the charge of our proton. So we get that the electric field is 5.14 times 10 to the 11th. Now the units, if we take a look at the units of this, we'll see that our Coulomb's square cancels out with the Coulomb's up here, so we still have one coulomb left in the bottom. The meter squared cancels out with the meter squared, which means we only have the newtons on top. The unit of an electric field is in newtons per coulomb, which makes sense because we want to remember that our equation that defined an electric field was force per charge. Notice that the units would be newtons per coulomb. So, in other words, if I were to have one coulomb of charge, this much force would act on it if I had that amount of charge present. So that is electric field. Now, if we take a look at the next part, we want to also find out what's the magnitude of the electric field at one distance, distance of one meter away. Um, oh, also the direction. So the direction is simply given by our conceptual knowledge. So at this point, now that we've defined an electric field, we should be able to just say, oh, at this point, it points away from that positive charge. So you take that direct line of sight and you draw along that line and away. That's our electric field, okay? And no matter where you are, the electric field will point away from that positive charge. If it was negative of a point towards it. So now, if we take a look at the next part, 
we're just going to compare this to if we were one meter away. So notice the distance in here is on the atomic level. It's very, 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 very small. Um, but if we were to change that to a measurable distance that we could see with our eyes, like one meter, how would that change the strength of the electric field? So if we do that, the electric field equals that same Coulomb's constant, 10 to the uh, ninth newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. Same charge, 0.6, 10 to the minus 19th Coulombs. Now we're only going to use one meter for our distance. And don't forget to square it, even though it's going to be one anyway. Um, so we have our constant times the charge of that, which gives us so the electric field equals 1.44 times 10 to the minus ninth newtons per coulomb. Okay. Now, we have an electric field which is drastically different. So notice that on the atomic level, our electric fields are much, 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 much stronger 10 to the 11th when you're at that subatomic distance. Um, and when you are dealing with distances that you can actually, you know, measure out, and you're talking about these, you know, particles that you can't see, then this electric field is extremely small. So this is a dominant, um, this is a dominant force, electric force, that comes into play when you're on that atomic level. So now, let's also take a look at, if we were to find the distance from the proton at which the electric field has a magnitude of 3 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So now we're going to find the location that corresponds to that magnitude of electric field. So we're going to still use the same equation, but we're instead going to solve for the distance. So I'm going to take my equation for the electric field, E equals KQ over R squared, and I'm going to solve for the distance R. So if I do that, I'm going to multiply the R squared over to the left side, and I'm going to swap places with the E, which I'll then divide to the bottom. So we get R squared equals KQ over E, and we'll just square root both sides to isolate R. So we have that r equals the square root of k q over e. We just plug in the values for this. k and q will be the same values for the problem, so I won't write that again. It'll be the same value for k and q. And then divided by e, which is 3 times 10 to the 6th newtons per coulomb, we'll calculate this out. So we have 3 times 10 to the 6th uh, in the bottom. And then we have multiply cross K and Q. So Coulomb's constant and then charge of a proton. Don't forget to square root this. So we get, we have R equals 2.19 times 10 to the minus 8th meters. So a very, very small distance. So this gives us a sense of the size of the electric field from the distance of these little uh, particles that we can't see.